So here's just a quick tip for you today. In yesterday's tutorial, we created our endpoint that actually saves a document into our MongoDB database, but we changed the method, the HTTP verb of the actual endpoint to a post endpoint. So if we go over to our browser now, it's no longer a get endpoint. So if we refresh, uh, you'll see that that endpoint no longer exists. So if you have endpoints like this, how do you actually test them to see if they're working? Or you might want to set up some test data in your application uh, just to kind of see if things are working as they should. Well, the answer to that is to use a tool uh, to actually create a post request and send it to your endpoint. And there are different tools available, but one I like and which is quite popular is called Postman. And you can use this to actually uh, create any type of request. And if you need to, you can submit any data via the request as well. But for our endpoint, it's really simple. It's just a simple post request. Uh, so if we open up Postman, once you've downloaded it, uh, you can create a new uh, request from here and, and give it a name and so forth. And you can see here, we've got the different types of HTTP verbs uh, that you can pass uh, to the URL. So let's change that straight away to a post request. So we just put in our URL, so it's HTTP and it's localhost uh, 3333 and then forward slash API forward slash short URL. And you can supply some data such as if the user was filling out a form or something like that if the endpoint requires it. Uh, but for the moment our endpoint doesn't, it doesn't need any uh, parameters or anything. You just literally send a post request and it generates the URL. So if we hit send now, you should see that we get the same sort of response that we had in the browser yesterday. However, uh, it's obviously doing it via a post request now instead of a get request. So there you go, there's just a quick tip on how you send uh, requests using Postman. And if you have post, put or patch endpoints that require data, then Postman's a really useful tool uh, for being able to uh, construct those requests uh, without the need of a browser. So that's it for this tutorial. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.